My name's Marissa. And I'm Taryn. And we are two foodie sisters with foodietown.ca showing you the best of the Canadian food scene and beyond. What are we doing today? We are going to Kelowna and West Kelowna and we're showing you guys the best food trucks. So follow along and we're going to show you some good eats. What a beautiful day. Marissa here. So Taryn and I, we hail from the Okanagan. If you're new here and you might not know that, we live in Kelowna. We're famous for our wineries, our breweries, awesome food, the Okanagan Lake and all the water sports that come with it. But today we are going to be exploring either side of the Bennett Bridge, West Kelowna and Kelowna and all the awesome food trucks on offer there. Now, as a local, I'm going to tell you the truth. We try to avoid crossing the bridge at all means necessary. We despise it. It is too busy during the summertime. It can take up to 45 minutes to cross it, especially in 2022. It's been such a crazy year for tourists, but we did it for you. Please like and subscribe. Hi, how are you? Hello. Good, how are you? Good. So, uh, what is your guys' most popular? Uh, the most popular dish is definitely our Meadow Valley Bacon Cheddar Burger. Oh, wow. Um, I would say my personal favorite is probably our Shelter Bay Mac and Cheese. Comes with jerk chicken. We make all our sauces in-house, so that's what, kind of what makes it unique. Okay. Um, nice. Our Korean rice bowl is also quite popular. Pulled pork, it's got seasonal vegetables, bulgogi sauce, ginger soy, crispy onions. Wow. Mm -hmm. Uh, you decide. Kind of have food coming from everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we'll definitely do the bacon and cheddar burger, please. Okay. And. Do you want that by itself, or do you want uh, fries on the side, sweet potato fries? Uh, we'll just do normal fries, please. Regular fries. Yeah. Awesome. And then I think we'll also try the. I don't know. I, I really want to try that mac and cheese with jerk chicken. Yeah, you can, you can look at the entire menu. You really can't go wrong with anything. But like I said, the, the mac and cheese is probably my personal favorite. Yeah, we'll do that too, please. Awesome. excited to try the lemon uh, lemon with blueberry. Are you excited? Uh, I love donuts so an unexpected stop. This Thank you so much. Oh man. Okay what is it? It's the bacon cheddar. Bacon cheddar burger. Very nice with fries and the jerk chicken mac and cheese with some donutry donuts. Are we ready? I'm ready first? to dive in right now. Go ahead. Yeah. Nice and cheesy with some spicy jerk chicken. Like it's gonna be piping hot. Mmm. <laughs> That tastes like something familiar. The chicken's so nice. Have some. Mm. Okay. The noodles are really nice. Looks creamy. Perfect, yeah, perfect amount of sauce. And this extra cheese melted on top is so good. Yeah, that um, kind of like has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm. We just switched out our location for some something a little shadier. And Taryn's about to dig into this bacon cheese burger. A little bit of a bunny hug. They were voted uh, one of Kelowna's, uh, it, actually in fact, Kelowna's best comfort food truck. 
I can see why. <laughs> the pe pencil, pencil, the button. pencil button. <laughs> it was actually really good. It's Stop. not too hard, yeah. Yeah, for some reason I thought bunny hugs was like vegan or something, but mm -hmm. I'm glad they're in. not. There we go. Sauciness. Sauciness is good. Cheesiness is good. The bacon and the burger actually cooked like perfectly. Mm-hmm. Where to order again? Mmm. I, I don't know what sauce that is, but it's really good. Observe burger stance. You gotta do it right. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> Beats the hell of a team burger, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, on to the donut. Okay, so donutery was just behind the bunny hugs. Uh, we got classic chocolate. They have kind of like a flavor of the week, so this week is blueberry lemon curd. They got cinnamon bun with cream cheese icing. Uh, regular with powdered, or just regular sugar. And then um, this one, I think it's just, just nice and original with some glaze on it. Very soft, fresh. Watch them make them. I kinda wanna try this one, to be honest. Mm. It reminds me of, um, it's like a really good dough, dough gob. I like how crisp the donut is. Okanagan, but sadly they had to close because of family health issues. If you're not a fan of Tim Hortons donuts, which everyone, yeah, that's everyone's go-to in Canada, get something made local, nice and fresh, at the Donutery. And they have a social media, so you can check that out and see where they are. This is good. So moving on, we just want to tackle the elephant in the room, which is would be our third food truck. If you're a local, you know about Smoke Show Barbecue. It is the best. It started as a food truck, but, and all of you have added us, you've messaged us saying this is the best food truck in the Okanagan. We agree with you. However, it is no longer really a food truck. You can get the food at the Hatching Post Brewery on the west side. You must go inside to eat and if you do get takeout you cannot do a takeout order over fifty dollars that's just the new rules especially during the summertime call them ahead if you want to do a big order to take and you might be able to take it and enjoy at black swift vineyards but for now we are just enjoying our wine here before we move on across the bridge So now that we're over the bridge, we are right downtown. You can see the Cactus Club there, the Yacht Club. We're trying reggae fusion food right outside of City Hall as well. And we can't wait. We are suckers for Jamaican food. So since you are right downtown, one of the best picnic spots is tucked in behind City Hall. And it is called Kasugai Gardens. It is a Zen Japanese garden absolutely picturesque and the perfect spot for a quick bite to eat. We are Foodie Town CA and we are having our food in the Kasugai Gardens. We only had beef it. today, so we are enjoying the beef Jamaican jerk patty at a Japanese garden. Kasugai. Kasugai garden. <laughs> mm. Hot. But good. Flaky. I haven't hit the meat yet. You can see it's right here. Mm. Mm. 
-hmm. very authentic. Mm -hmm. Super good. Just as you get in Jamaica. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice and spice. Mm -hmm. So flaky. So this is the island dog. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's in a croissant. It's super flaky. Uh, it feels super fresh. It's really soft as well. Some mayo on there, some mustard, ketchup. Got some uh, some greens. This is gonna be easy. <laughs> Can you hold this? It's a two-hander. Yeah, it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's messy. Not really. It's just saucy. But the smoky is really good. And in between a croissant, a crunchy croissant. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we got some authentic jerk chicken with some gravy here. And we got some red beans and rice and a salad. Uh, yeah, you want to go first? Always. So we have some experience with jerk chicken. One of our favorite aunties, my mom's best friend growing up was Jamaican from Jamaica and would make this often for us. But she would make it with a really, like a lot of this gravy, not on the barbecue. So it's very similar to what we're about to experience. That means my rice good. Rice is nice, pretty straightforward. Yeah. That's great, that works out really well. Nicely cooked. Mm. I feel like they're really holding back on the spice. Honestly, um, I'm sure if you asked him, said, hey, can you kick it up for me? He would. I will say this is very, very mild. Yeah. Like anyone could handle this. There's not much spice at all. Okay. Well, there you go, but the other two were winners in our book, so you might really like mild dip chicken. I don't know, so give it a go. I was really surprised and uh, would come back to this food truck. So for our next stop, we are heading to a favorite winery of ours called Kitsch Winery. It is in the Southeast Kelowna bench and it has a perfect view of downtown Kelowna looking towards the bridge and towards West Kelowna. Now, we are kind of stretching the idea of what a food truck is. This is kind of more like a food cart, but this is the food lab. And you can find whipped feta, duck fat popcorn, charcuterie, perfect things to pair with your wine there. Unfortunately, they were out of the whipped feta that day, so we just opted for some charcuterie to enjoy with the beautiful view and the wine tasting. You have uh, Jamaican patty flakes on your face. Thank you. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> okay, so starting here, we have a fennel salami, and then a spicy copal, and then for the cheese, it's a manchego, so it's a Spanish cheese, and then a cherry trees over here, and then a bunch of uh, pickled vegetables, and mafioso olives, uh, Dijon mustard, and a jalapeno cranberry jelly. Beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so yeah, oh yeah, we're ready <laughs> this time. Alright, this is the duck uh, popcorn with uh, rosemary and all that stuff. Okay, thank you. Beautiful. Does everything uh, Good, good. yeah, everything's really good. No whip that up, but it's good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, I mean, the natural hot chicken side, those are a fan favorite coming back from last year. Yep. Um, my new personal favorite is the whole boy. Um, it's a fried shrimp sandwich with creamy mustard. Yep. Um, the New York and the honey butter, those ones are the only difference between them is the spice. Honey butter has no spice at all, and New York has a slight spice. Okay. Mm. If you want something like kind of refreshing for like outside right now, the lemongrass is really good too. So we are at Priest Creek. Um, 
Yeah, this is our last stop. It is close to home. It's a favorite of ours. Um, the food truck here is called The Spot. And uh, we've tried their Nashville hot chicken, sam chicken sandwiches here when we did the Battle of the Wines event for the rosé. Mm -hmm. And we're back for more to try more of the menu. So, so we've uh, got a po' boy coming. We've got the hot chicken sandwich, the uh, butter chicken sandwich, do we? Yeah. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's, a nice, it's such a beautiful spot here, like area to sit. It's the spot. Like, it is. It is the spot. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> But this is a historic property as well, um, being on Crease on Priest Creek, um, and we're in East Kelowna, and you should check out that video where we tour East Kelowna and all the cool spots there. So, um, yeah, food coming, excited. It is shrimp. Shrimp. It's a shrimp po' oh boy. Been usually the first one to dive into these. I'm a tomato kind of goes. Yeah. Mm. And it's a potato bun. Some pickles in there. Mayo. And the shrimp is really nicely battered. Maybe some grainy mustard. Oh, we're very familiar with the Nashville chicken sandwich. It was very spicy. We had it at the Battle of the Wines. It was the herring. So let's go. It is spicy. There's a sweet note. But depending on your wine, if you pair it and it has a high alcohol content, it's going to amplify the spice of whatever you're eating. So let's see. What do we got here? We have a rose, which is why I know what the, the amount of alcohol. Oh my god. Thank you so Thank much. You. 12.2%, so it is, it's, it's a little high, nothing too crazy, but um, I think it, I, and with the uh, Battle of the Wines event, I thought it paired really nicely with the Blossom from Priest Creek. That's what we're drinking right now. Lovely, perfect on a, on a sunny day. Really good, nice little bite. Two sliders, and then what did they just deliver? Okay, so they um, just dropped this off for us. Uh, they said it's a nice little off-menu surprise. Looks like some fried shrimp with some lettuce, some sauce, tomato, onion, nice little tortilla. So let's uh, bite into it. Mm. Really fresh and light. The sauce is kind of like a crema. Um, kind of reminds me of maybe like a ranch crema. It's really good though. Really nice and fresh and light for a nice hot day like this. Okay, so next we're gonna dive into the um, buttered chicken sandwich. See that butter on the side right there? Looks like there might be some bacon on there. Oh, there's some bacon in there. Um, I'm gonna ask you to do the honors for the first bite just because I can't unhinge my jaw like you can. <laughs> oh, okay, so there's pickles in it. Sounds very crispy, crunchy. Buttery, very butter forward. Okay. Now that he started that for me, I can get a little bit. Oh yeah, it's really, uh, geez, lilies. Honey butter, I was just gonna say it's a little sweet. Really good. Chicken's nice. Batter's very crispy. I would say um, definitely thicker than the po' boy batter on the shrimp. Um, but fried really nicely. Got some mayo in there, the bun's nice and soft. Pickles, tomato, lettuce. Nice and sweet and buttery. Okay, so moving on. So I could not do a new food truck video for Kelowna for 2022 without involving Little Tokyo Ramen. So it is one of the most beloved food trucks in the entire city. No matter the weather, whether it's 38 degrees in summertime 
or 20, negative 25 degrees in the winter time, these guys sell out. Of course, my mic receiver decided not to function properly when I was recording my review, but my goodness, you have to go to Little Tokyo Ramen. It is authentic, true Japanese ramen. My personal favorite is the white miso ramen, but we also tried uh, traditional ramen. You can get um, vegetarian if you need, or you can even get a cold tomato ramen. It is, no matter what you get, it is so good, so authentic, and the depth of flavor is just incredible. So I highly recommend, and usually they're parked at Barnell Brewing, but again, they have a great social media presence, so you can always find them. You know what time they're gonna be opening and uh, hopefully you get there before sellout. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias and hit that subscribe button.